Well, we're back in Bioshock Infinite. Um, it's on to uh, Burial at Sea, but first, before I start that, I want to quickly touch upon at least one thing that I think I might have over overlooked as, or like not quite fully understood in in the main game was the motives of Lutess, the Lutesses. I still I'm a bit confused on that, but as far as I can tell, they were working for Comstock to build the um, the quantum particles and figuring out a way to trans uh, transfer information across the multiverse. And I think getting Elizabeth from Booker, Anna from Booker, was the price they paid for. Uh, their research funding, but I'm not sure if they changed their mind about Elizabeth because Comstock tried to kill them, or Comstock tried to kill them because they changed their mind. And then they decided, at least Robert Lutas decided, that he didn't like his involvement in Elizabeth's kidnapping, or taking him away from, taking her away from Booker. But I'm still a bit on, I'm still a bit kind of strange on exactly what the Lutas are, because they seemed bigger, they seemed more supernatural than that. So I think I was expecting them to be like aliens or something. I'm not sure. Also, Annabelle was the wife and Anna was the daughter and I am not sorry for getting those two confused because come on. However, having had a bit of time to sort of go over the ending, I think my confusion comes down to the fact that I'm not, I wasn't certain how all the timelines interact with one another. Because they do. There's not, like, they're not separate parallel timelines where all possible options occur. They, they have a causality between them, and I don't think I fully interpreted that. I think the explanations for how the universes interact is a little opaque. Now, right at the very end there, we saw that Booker entered the room and little Anna, later Elizabeth, was, was there. Or at least her crib was there. Though, I don't think... Did we see if she was in it? I don't think we did. I'm presuming she's in it. If, under that assumption, there's only one timeline left. Because the Comstock universe was never created because Booker never became Comstock, never funded uh, Lutes' research, and all the universes collapse into the one timeline that Booker started in. Which I think we're going to find out is the Rapture timeline. Uh, oh, good. So, there are two... There are slightly annoyingly two episodes of Bur uh, a Burial at Sea... Which is gonna really lengthen out my friggin' uh, video titles. Uh, and I'm gonna have to split them up because, you know, they're different. Uh, <clears throat> so this is Burial at Sea Episode 1. They're only a couple of hours long each. But I think it goes on to about the same length of Minerva's Den in total, if you combine the two. So I'm hoping for about uh, 5 to 7 hours. Actually, that's a bit longer than Minerva's did. It was four and a half hours, I think, overall. Anyway, enough nattering about that. Let's let's start burial at sea. I'm glad that there, I'm seeing low chapter here. I was worried about how we'd have to how I'd have to be able to go back and look at the uh, individual chapters. I wasn't sure how that was going to work because I will have to. I still have to go back and look at bits and pieces and get screenshots and such. Um. Oh, 1999 mode. I don't know why it's called 1999 mode, but uh, the best of the best. No, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna continue on with medium. I um, I, even at the end of Bioshock Infinite, it, it it did it did pick up a little bit of difficulty, especially in that last battle. So I'm I'm gonna I'm fine with medium. Let's just do that. I've proved uh, the hard thing with Minerva's Den. I don't need to do more hard. Dewitt Investigations. The moment she came into my office. I knew nothing was ever going to be the same. I'm going to try my really terrible noir accent. So yeah, they, they're, they're leaning into a noir theme, where Booker is a private detective. No, that's the kidnapping of Elizabeth. Oh, I've seen this film before. Of course. We're closed. No, that is Elizabeth. To turn down legitimate work. <coughs> what do you want? How about we start with a light? <laughs> sure, Elizabeth. Why? Why? What roleplay shit are you on about? This is a bit weird. Can I have a look outside? 
Because that looks like a city, but that might just be New York. Fine, I'll light your cigarette. But seriously, buy your own lighter. Elizabeth. You got a name, miss? Oh. Elizabeth. <laughs> He's got, um, incinerate. First time we've seen it used like that. You can call me Elizabeth. What can I do for you? There's a girl who needs to be found. Maybe you've seen her. This girl. Sally. This dead. You know her. You'll see dozens of her type down by the docks or the slums in Apollo. Okay, State. no, no, he's in Rapture for some Fontaine's reason. Fontaine's charity shut. No place for him. But her you know. As I said, the girl's dead. Lost. Look, I don't know where you get Lost it. isn't dead. Name your radar will pay you for this work. You'd do this one gratis, wouldn't you? I don't follow. Something tells me you will. Hmm. So we're starting in Rapture, slightly in Medias Res. See what Elizabeth knows about Sally. Um, yeah. How long has it been? If 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 this is the sort of main timeline, it's nineteen at least nineteen forty seven, probably mid fifties. I'll take the money. I think it's just dollars down in Rapture. But we are. Yeah, it's nineteen fifty eight, uh, December thirty first, right before the um the New Year's. Well, it's, it's, that's tonight. The New Year's, um, attack is, oh, ring plus money. Take all. What? Why is that? So it used to be E to pick stuff up. Now it's F. That was F to pick that up. So we're starting in Rapture. Right before the, let me check this door. The New Year's attack. But we don't seem to know Elizabeth. She's just some dame that walked into my office who wanted a light. But we've got incinerate. And we're doing plasmids. That's the whole... Like, it is... We're not heading down to Rapture to go do something. Alright, I guess we're going to go see what Elizabeth knows about Sally. Whoever Sally is. Booker seems to know her as well, but, uh, you know, I'm starting from nothing. No gods or kings, only man. Seems my instincts were correct. Where's Sally? I don't know. Hmm. But I know someone who does. Santa Cohen, why even ask? I, I will follow you. Do you mind if I have a look? His greatest album yet. Why even ask? Invite Santa Cohen into your home today in stereo. Lovely. Now they, this looks great. Oh, the whale. All right, so this is clearly like coming up on New Year's. But it doesn't look like the same place we were at. Where do we where do we see there was a um sort of lower area just after no this was just before the medical pavilion where Diane Mc, where we've picked up Diane McClintock's first um, audio log this does not look like that area in fact the art style of Rapture looks very different. What's this girl to you? What I need from her is my business. I know where to start looking. This door doesn't open. Thank you. Ah, uh, just want to point out, we've got the same vendor. Under the Coffers with Andrew Ryan, Magnate Magazine, Rapture Magazine, Luxury You've Earned, Contour Magazine, because you're not one of them, Lusts Magazine, just a picture of a lady with a tongue out, Rapture Women, Time Serving Wonders. Well, this feels a lot more mid-century, and I feel more at home here. Now you're humming. Hold on. It's no more. If you're too good for the boys to track now. Oh, so no, this guy knows me. Hello, friend. Still got gambling issues. That's never changes. He's, oh, he's getting his shoes shined. Um, people walking around. Elizabeth is jogging a little awkwardly, but that's fine. Yeah, it feels. It doesn't quite match the art style of the original. Because then the parasites will somehow get involved here. But uh, Ryan's not interested in sharing tech power. I think. Hold on, we've got. 
Claire? I can't quite read the <laughs> weird cursive there. You really need to print that out in easier font. And then we got someone else age 10. So we got young ch young girls. And Sally's not the only young girl who's been missing. This one's Ellen, I think. Age 8. Ah, it's these two. Proper height of rapture. This is love to look at. Lovely to look at. Yes. Strive for your own self-betterment. Objectivism in action, isn't it beautiful? Such a shame. Thank you. I think you're talking to me. How does everyone knows me? I'm 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 fairly popular and well uh well respected around here, well known. Valiantly failing the Bechdel test right there. Hello. Uh, I'm, I'm... You, someone said that to me in Colombia. Methinks this isn't all quite real. Okay. That sounded almost like a non sequitur. And they've changed the design of the little sisters from the, um, Gatherer's Garden. No, Little Wonders Educational Facility. Emancipated children, emancipated ideas. Hmm, this is one of Fontaine's, um, facilities. Oh, good. Oh. What happened to these children? Ah, ha, 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 ha. you been? Cabin in Arcadia? Your little sisters. Adam factories. Why uh, are they? Are those? Hold on. No, they're face painted. I thought they were, um, the mechanicals. Why are they out in public? And where are their big daddies? If these are little sisters, they all look exactly the same. Compromise? I was doing Bioshock, but that. Is that why we came to Rapture? I could compromise in Red Hook. We're just men and women, Alan. You hold yourself to that standard, you'll never be happy. In what country is there a place for men like me? Men who refuse to say yes to the doubters and the parasites. Yes, yes, but even Andrew Ryan takes a vacation. Does he? He seemed a workaholic. My uh, my remembrance of him that he he didn't even spend a lot of time to go spend time with his mistress. Hello. Hey, keep moving, buddy. Hmm. Just looking. They changed up the fence for the little sisters, or they have locked them. This doesn't look like the rapture I remember. But this may not be the rapture I remember. Who knows? We're still playing Bioshock Infinite. Oof. Little Wonders Kashmir. Little Wonders... Ah, oh, this is the Jet Postal... I thought they were pneumatic tubes. Oh, no, 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 no. These are the pneumatic tubes, and those are just TVs that are moving on um, big rails. For some reason. We're closed. This is the Rapture Tribune. Oh, there's old Big Daddy. Nope. Oh, oh wow! I've not seen one of you guys do that before. That's friggin' sweet. Nice. That bouncer is awesome. That's Santa Cohen again. I'll be there in a flash. Numo, jet postal. My understanding is that um, it's not brilliant, but it can be overcome with enough persistence. You should have to prove you're properly versed on a topic before you're allowed to vote on it. Otherwise, it's just a knee-jerk response from the uninformed. It does more harm than good. Who would judge that? A system like that invites abuse? Having a benevolent dictatorship. <laughs> Benevolence isn't human nature. How would a benevolent dictator, how could you rely on a benevolent dictator? That's all the problem with that, because in theory, yeah, I agree with them. People should have informed opinions before they're able to make, you know, society-changing 
uh, decisions. But, you know, who decides who's got merit? A good, a proper meritocracy, a real meritocracy. The only way to, um, distinguish between those who have merit and those who do not has to be made on someone else's assumption. Search the new mo. It's empty. I can go in here. More missing kids. What? I think this is the little sisters being kidnapped. But what are you doing? Oh, he's fixing a probably a lift. Okay, I just re I just remembered the little sisters going missing. It's the little sisters, obviously. I did that. <laughs> I didn't put two and two together before. Yep. <clears throat> Who doesn't love the company of the elite? Rapture Tribune. Oh, can I read this? Rapture, 1958. The year that was. An in-depth look at the events that shaped our lives. Art, science, and industry. That was what was written on the, uh, uh, inside the lighthouse. He works for Ryan's security firm. I got it first hand. Looks from the inside out. Is the damn thing a weapon or an oven? Works with mini rays or, or microwaves? Microwaves. Oh, I can't remember. I don't remember anything about microwaves in the original game. She's still going around sitting on stuff, even in her sort of noir form. You guys all right? Um, I'll leave you two to it. It's all the same. Uh, I'm going to look at the Andalusian alarms. No, Andalusian arms. Oh, has he got... <laughs> oh, she was... Elizabeth got very interested in that. Oh, I'm sorry. What have I done to the house of Dick? That painting is. Showing your face around here, pal. All right, I'm so I just seem to have done something uh, untoward in Andalusian arms. It's funny. What? You're not knowing about the little sisters. How long have you been in Rapture? Let's just say I don't get out much. You've got eyes and ears, don't you? If I wanted to share my life story, Mr. Dewitt, I would write my memoirs. If I learned anything about Rapture. I thought it was a place where people understood to mind their own business. Where are we headed? The man we need to see is in the Garden of the Muses. How do you know? My sources are my own, Mr. DeWitt. If you have better information as to the whereabouts of your girl, I suggest you avail yourself of it. Okay, I, what exactly is this? Because obviously we don't, we're pretending, or we do in fact not know who this woman is. But, you know, she looks, sounds, and acts like a slightly more grown-up version of Elizabeth from Columbia. Where are you taking me? When's the last time you saw Sally? What? She we definitely know her. He How do you know this? She was taken down at Surprise. You were Surprise. So she disappeared. And a cop friend of mine, Sullivan. Hmm. So yes. I found her floating in the docks. You see the body? Look. Did you see the body? This world values children. Not did did Booker gamble away another child? How many times, Booker? Whoa. I didn't see what that was. Just get these spells sometimes. It'll pass. Yeah. That was the same uh, flashes that Jack got in the first game. Refreshment, sir. Madam? We're fine, thanks. Oh, off he goes. He's got to be other places. That's a rather alarming means of teleportation. But, um... Sally's been turned into a little sister. That's the... I mean, that popped up right as soon as she uh, implied that. So... Is Sally supposed to be DeWitt's daughter in this timeline? Hmm. But the waiters using all their powers to improve the, um... <laughs> to help out their customers. That's quite amusing. Le Marquis de Poc. Might buy a pack of cigarettes. Oh. Need to know theater. 
Uh, yeah, well, you know, I come back here for cigarettes all the time and alcohol. Um, give me a carton of the cheapest you have. Probably what I'd ask for. Let's have a need to know theater. Let's have a look at this. The greatness of Dr. Bridget Tenenbaum. Are you in the know? I know about Tenenbaum. Competition or what fuel rapture? But that fuel can be diluted with rumor or flat out lies. The rumor monger asks, what are these so-called splicing side effects? Well, take a look around you. Do you see anything wrong with your neighbor? You will in about 12 months. Rumor asks, why has Tenenbaum withdrawn from the public's eye? Dr. Tenenbaum is a scientific mind unparalleled, even in rapture. She's no doubt in her lab, toiling away at her next great innovation. I heard she was in cahoots with Fontaine. Merely slander from jealous naysayers. Remember, yeah, rapture she... competes through innovation, not cheap shots. Bridget Tenenbaum is a woman who represents the best of science and industry. In other words, she's a rapture gal. Now you know. Okay. Someone was talking in the background, but I was too busy focused on that. Yeah, Tenenbaum... Let's see if I can, I can remember. I don't know if she turned back, didn't she? She didn't do that. She got disillusioned uh, with the whole little sister thing. She created the little sisters. She got completely sort of um, turned away from that and started rescuing the little sisters. But I don't remember her turning back to Ryan and suddenly becoming a friend of Rapture again. After she, oh, and she did work with Fontaine. And more. But, you know, that was in the book. Hang on, I'm looking around a little. You can't, you can't. Let's not get too basic. Not fans of the Italians. Oh, Jesus, this place is big. You want me to go to... Meet Elizabeth combat... Uh, contact is up there. Let's have a look over here. I want to look at Rapture Records. Dr. Steinman wouldn't exactly go around exalting that particular connection. Symmetry wasn't really his thing at the end of the day. Why is there a... No, that's just a phone booth. Okay, I thought it was a... It looked like a... Ah. That's your mother talking. What does Ryan say? Any morality? You can keep it. He's running girls. Probably exploiting them. That's, uh... That's unpleasant. Hmm. Let's go into uh, the music shop. Hello. Nice phonograph. That's one hell of a horn. This is the 19... late 1950s. They have electronic records by now, right? Electronic reproducers and, uh... Pickups and amps and that more modern stuff, right? That that's that's now. All right, let's strike a key. Well, welcome. <laughs> it's gonna annoy this guy by playing his uh, piano. That's a very that looks very scratched. That record that looks extremely damaged. You should take better care of your seventy eights. Fontaine. Oh, hello. Thought you were done. We want to be better than we are. That is what separates us from the jungle. 
quite. Fontaine believed the same thing, he just didn't also actually give a shit about any ideologies. He was just, well, gone over this. Alright, we're into the clothing shop now. I'm just sort of browsing. Hope that's alright. Huh, man, Italian accent. I get this weird anxiety going into shops, particularly upmarket shops, where I don't think I'm going to buy anything. Like I shouldn't have bothered even coming. Makes me really uncomfortable. Oh, audio log. Let's have a listen. That's Doc. Yeah, uh, that's Doctor Suchan. Suchan observed strangest of coincidences. On the other side of a window, man in strange hat experimenting on Suchan's own creation. On plasmid. Man name of Fink. Outrage. Death of intellectual property. Hmm. 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 But. Man name of a thing is no fool. Through addition of oxidizing agent, turns plasmid ingestible through stomach lining. Mr. Ryan very impressed with Su Chong's initiative. Theft of intellectual property. Two-way street. Okay, so that explains the Vigors, because the Vigors are drunk, but the plasmids are injected. Su Chong's talking about Fink's Vigors. No, it can't. Um, but it's nice to hear Suchong again. Uh, I want to now go around and make sure I'm not missing any audio logs. I'm going to have to... I missed a few voxophones, but not many, and I couldn't be bothered going back. The, the... Do you... I, I want to look back there, though. No. I think there's one in here. I'll keep my eye open for audio logs in future. Oh, he, he upped his game a little bit there. Hmm, we just came up through there. Hold on, I'm trying to... The contact is behind here, and I want to go anywhere else. That's more pneumos. Controlled, of course, by, um... Uh... Rapture... Uh, central Computing. Right, so that's still probably a thing. I wonder if Porter's going to be brought up. I'd like it. It'd be a nice little thing. Ooh, the Gallery of the Artist Struggle. This would be Cohen's. Some of these have got to be Cohen's paintings, surely. They look freaky enough to be his. Hello. Be right with you. Please, come in. I am in. What are you talking about? Modern art. Very modern art. Some of it's quite good. I I quite like... This one's, like, for a freaky piece... For a piece of freaky art, this one's quite good, but it's bent. You didn't... Uh, you know, only if you lived in an Art Deco universe would you be able to mount that. This one's alright. I don't mind the head, though. I don't know where... <laughs> you know. Looks fine. Hmm. All them orphanages... We have another need-to-know theatre. I'm not going to play slots, there's no point, you're never going to win. Taking the taint out of Fontaine. Are you in the know? You doubtlessly sampled products from Fontaine Futuristics. Yeah, he sold a lot. But do you know why Ryan Industries saved it? By nationalizing it. business leader and benefactor of mankind? Or was he the best friend the parasite ever had? He was, was neither. He aware his businesses were a front for a smuggling ring? Funnily enough. And were you also fooled by his supposed charity work? At his free clinic, patients became test subjects. And his orphanages were places that children disappeared into and never came out. Once yep. they learned the truth, Rapture's Central Council called for the arrest of Fontaine Futuristic's owner. But, a coward to the end, Fontaine found a hail of bullets preferable to facing justice. The council asked that Ryan Industries assume the burden of stewardship of Fontaine's ill-gotten assets. 
and Andrew no, they didn't. accepted that burden for the people of Rapture. Now all citizens can enjoy these products free of criminal taint. Now you know. Thank you for the propaganda, Ryan. This is a Rapture Films Productions, 1958. Yeah, I mean, Fontaine, Font uh, Fontaine was shot, became Atlas. I think what happened was he was, he had one of his lackeys, or someone, take his form. That's what Su Chong was able to do. He changed, uh, physically cha changed his physical form. And then he turned into Atlas and had one of his lackeys get shot for him. Cohen. Oh, hang on. <sighs> okay, let's look in here. I'm, I'm buying a suit. I think I've been in here, haven't I? I've been into a clothing shop. I think, yeah, I have been in here. This is it the same one? Yeah, I've been in here. Never mind. Excuse me. I didn't know I'd been round. I'm just... Alright, time to move down and... Uh, into the place we're supposed to be going to. Around here first, though. Oh dear. <laughs> oh god, help me. How is Ryan taking over Fontaine's business? Any different than, say, eminent domain? It's just the hand of government coming down on the individual. <laughs> Fontaine was a criminal. By whose standards? Ryan's? I prefer when the judge doesn't profit off the penalty. Now he's got a point. He's got a point and a half. No, I'm just walking near you. It's all right. Well, I look, it's it's spending a lot of time setting up what we already knew about Rapture having played the first day, two sir. games. Good day to you, sir. How do you do? Uh, do you have a... Are you hiding a uh, audio log I want to listen to? By the way, they are actually, they're not voxophones here. They are proper audio logs. Nice rings. This is just examining them. I'm gonna go into here, and then I'll get to clearly Cohen. Oh, there's a. Whatever that barber did to you, I hope he's retained a capable attorney. Oh, <laughs> you're insulting my haircut. Oh, okay. I want to try, what is it, 0451, right? Nope. Just thought you'd try it, you know. 0451, the Wilhelm scream of door codes, which is the oddest phrase I've ever said. Worth checking to see if it was right. Might have been. Watch another Need to Know Theatre. The Big Daddy. So it's just it's just setting it up again. It had to do that. The Big Daddy may look imposing, but he's a gentle giant. <laughs> do you know all he does for Rapture? Dr. Su Chong might disagree with you. These metal jets are the hands that maintain Rapture, digging the foundation out of the seabed and guiding structural supports into place. Where do these metal mysteries come from? Sorry, chum. That's a Ryan Industries trade secret. Now you know. Thanks, you're very informative. Where do they come from? That's a trade secret. Now you don't know. I like how there are <laughs> slot machines. <laughs> like, right next to all the things. So you can easily accidentally play them. I think that's intentional. Go on. Let's do one. One roll. Nah. Oh no, I made a bit of money. Best quit while you're ahead. Yes, agreed. It always is. 
Oh, the watched clock. Nope, still no map. That's infuriating, frankly. Can't check the bins anymore. God, this is a proper diner. Hello, diner. Oh no. Uh, she just rocked up. Hello. You're not the chef here. Yeah. You're wearing a suit. You'd, you'd, be, you'd be wearing chef clothes. I'm looking for this, actually. Roscoe Mullins. I had all of these visions before coming down here of Utopia. Every man with his hand on the great chain, the wheel of progress turning. Every cliche you can imagine. June 4th, 1956. And what is the first thing that happens when I open a shop? Petty thievery. Now I have to lock all my valuables in the closet. Remember 2076. 2076. It's the problem with coming to Utopia. Is that it still has the people. You can't have Utopia without the Utopian, as old little and old lamb would have said. Alright, I'm gonna try that. Here. Yeah. Audio logs. It'll be... Well, I... No, I got it. Uh, Roscoe Mullins, what was the number? 2077, I think? 2076. Hang on. You have to do this manually. There's no... Like, I, I could do with a... something of a... 2077. There we go. I could do with, like, a little cursor just to show me where I'm looking at. I'm going to search everything. I hate that it's now... That's changed. That wasn't like that in the main game, and I haven't changed anything in the settings. It's E to select something and F to take stuff. That's stupid. Why would they do that to me? I like how Elizabeth isn't, like, objecting to any of this. We're just around here stealing stuff, and she's just like, I got places to be, but, you know, you can poke around for the rest of time. More of Suchong. When Ryan take over Fontaine Futuristics, Sin of the terrible violence. Splicers are burning each other to bits. The lucky ones are not killed, sent to department to stop prison instead. Suchon think he dead man too. But then Ryan comes to Suchong and says, Suchong want to be buried in filthy store, or Suchong want to make a good salary. Work for Ryan. How much salary? Asks Su Chong. October 17th, 1958. This, Ryan find it very funny. <laughs> so yeah, Su Chong did do that, by the way. He did, like, flip from Fontaine back to Ryan. And he was really pissed off about it by the end. <laughs> he was sick of the way Fontaine did stuff. Alright, I think we gotta meet with... Do you think it's Cohen himself? Two peas in a pod. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's one way to do it, I suppose. A merger. I shall acquire your assets. Are these... What? Oh, hang on. I'm just looking at these. I remember these guys, and I'm not a fan. What? It better not be Sandra Cohen. Is it actually Sandra Cohen himself? I don't want to know, frankly. He was the most pleasant of the bosses from the original Bioshock, I think. Oh, well, I mean... Steinman was the worst. Cohen, you know, plastered people. These people, I think, eventually. I remember fighting you guys. Private party. No Private entry. Party. No entry I was reading that. Elizabeth, I got it. Uh, the business. Rapture is business. The business is business. The business of Rapture is business. Excuse me. Uh, the font there is kind of screwing me up. Uh, sponsored by the Artist Struggle, the Golden Rule Rapture Records. Let's find out. Cohen. Which I've seen you represent, dead. Sir? No, not uh, you. Business? Yes, which business? DeWitt Investigations. Mr. Cohen does not truck with private detectives. 
masks of invitation went to artists and craftsmen alone. I'm with the artist struggle. We're expected. No mask, no entry. Stuffed shirt. These invitation masks he spoke of. They must have gone out to local artisans. Well, I guess we'll have to persuade someone to loan us one. The business okay. of Rapture is business. Says it's sponsored by the Artist Struggle, the Golden Rule, and Rapture Records. So were you lying about a place to start as any. being part of the Artist Struggle? And obviously, she probably was. Uh, it looks like there's three local stores that might have received invitations to Cohen's Club. Okay, I got it. Oh. Search the Golden... I've, got, I've already gone through all this, but let's... I mean... Let's start with the Golden Rule. That seems like a... Like, go top to bottom. We'll find it or we won't. What brought you to Where is it? A man. Really? You don't strike me as the romantic type. Wasn't that kind of man. Then what? There's a debt that needs repaying. I've known my share of Shylocks. You're no Shylock. Wasn't that kind of debt. Okay, well, obviously the debt I'm thinking of is... Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. But what were we doing in Rapture? What is going on? What is... Oh no, it's somewhere else. Golden Rule is there, it's right in front of me. You know me, apparently. Hello. I'm not 100% uh, certain where it's taking this. Why would um, we be pretending we don't know each other? What's... I mean, then again, the memory thing. Memories... Booker re-establishes memories at the... or rewrote his own memories at the end of um, Bioshock Infinite, or during Bioshock Infinite, so we may not even know, he may not literally know himself. Invitations to Cohen shows are highly coveted. Nobody's gonna just hand us one. You think you can figure out a way to distract the store owner while I take a look around? You just find the mask. Leave the distractions to me. Yeah, that was what I proposed, Elizabeth. Listen to me. Hello. I was here a second ago, excuse me. Uh, do distractions. Anytime you're ready. Anytime you want to do distractions. Oh, speak to the Excuse shop owner, me. of course. Lady has some questions for you. Yes, of course. I'm interested in this piece. Ah, excellent. You've an eye, haven't you, miss? It's a natural sapphire and diamond, 18 karat gold green, fully hallmarked for Paris, 1887. That's a lot of fine talk about a stolen ring. Oh. Thank you. Right out of her All right. coffin in Twilight Fields. Did you think we wouldn't notice? Cohen sends those masks out. Some the kind assurances of, box. of a grave robber are of no interest to me. If you hand the ring, she's good. I appreciate that. I'm gonna steal stuff, by the way. I got you. Oh shit. Uh, you done distracting? He must have run away. His accent completely went from posh Englishman to uh, Brooklyn very rapidly. Might be. Nothing. Let's find another shop. But the money was worth it. Where should we look next? What do we got now? Seventy-six dollars. Like you'd think there'd be more from a gold bar. Straight ahead sounds like the best way to go. Rapture Records. It'll be an art of struggle, I feel like. Now, I remember where Rapture Records was. No, I don't. Well, I, I, I remember going to Rapture Records. I've got no idea. No, it's right here. <laughs> In terms of directions, I couldn't tell you. But, uh... It's a good thing I, uh... Went in the right direction. Hello, I'm back. Uh, do you need to distract this guy as well? Of course, right away. She's humming on there. It's by Trinette. But of course, covered by Miss Rylant. Gotta find that box. Nothing. Only one place left. Yeah. Figured it'd be. It, I think it's always gonna it's either always gonna be in the last place we look.
Watch out, fella. I must go. Even one more note shall prove my undoing. Very impressive. It's not that good, come on. <laughs> it's Lemaire, it's fine, it's good. It was the basis for Beyond the Sea later on. Nothing. No. Don't know if you uh, could call that left. stealing. That's a cover. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah. I think it's also the first song you hear, it's when you get, when, a uh, first piece, it's not technically a song because there's no singing in it, but um, when you walk into the lighthouse, that's what's playing. Now we have to, now the only place we've got left is the Art of Struggle. Hmm, I wonder if we're going to visit some old areas from the original game. But, like I said, this whole sort of decor is a little bit different. Ah, yes. I didn't wonder why some of these places seemed closed off. Hello. Hey pal, you want to help out the little lady? Yes, of course. Everyone's very welcome. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? Very uh. Sander Cohen. He calls it miasma. I thought it was Sanders. Sorry, but I know precious little about art. How does it make you feel? I don't want to open my mouth for it. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. That was a lot of whiskey. I hope Elizabeth is very good at distracting, because I'm not going to be able to walk out of here. There we go. You figured it'd be here. I'm still a bit drunk, excuse me. I might... Sober... Surely I'm going to sober up shortly. Come on. I'm just here. Return tomorrow for further education. I shall be here at your service. Sorry, I was I, I accidentally got drunk. I was absolutely pissed back there, but I'm okay now. I was worried about that. You've got charms, lady. Good. You've located the mask. Third time's a charm. All right. It's best we head back to Cohen's. I went. I, I almost certain. I almost immediately went up to. Art of Struggle first, but come on, that was always... It's either always going to be in the third place you look, or it's always going to be in... For that you can thank my father. Oh, yeah. He was a man comfortable in a variety of roles. Okay, what is it? What are you getting at, Elizabeth? Because I know the answers to these questions. She's talking about DeWitt. Which I am. I'm being called DeWitt. DeWitt. Yeah, you know, occupation. I can't imagine what kind of employment would lead you to tag along on a job like this. I suppose you could say I work in debt collection. Hmm. Is she getting back at me, or is this... what is this? Trust me. Hello. Enter the club, or look around some more. I think I've looked around at everything. Let's enter the club. Put on one of Cohen's masks. I'm looking forward to seeing Cohen again, weirdly enough. 